What's going on to all my Virgos? So let's get into it. All right, let's see what y'all got. Thank you for all the, the likes. You know, the, the new subscribers really appreciate y'all. So for the Virgos, I have the um the King of Wands, the strength. I have the the uh the hanged man. Okay. Uh oh. The page of swords, the eight of cups. <laughs> okay. The Empress, Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, okay, the Moon, <laughs> the Four of Swords. Okay, so the King of Wands, the Strength, the Hangman. So the King of Wands is about you, Virgos, clearing the way. Not wanting to communicate with anybody who you deem is playing games. I will say this, though, that there is a caveat to this, okay? Um, and this is what the strength card represents, right? It represents how you, you need to be very careful about how many people you seem to be dismissing or throwing away. Don't throw away the people that actually are being good to you, right? That's, that's my only caveat. But as for right now, the King of Wands... You're, you're, you're throwing away the people whom give you a hard time. I, I, as I've said before, I am a Virgo myself. I don't know why it is that a lot of people try to come back after the damage is done, right? After they done told you Virgos, F off, I don't need you, this, that, and the third, all of this stuff. Now they want to, <laughs> I was about to say something, but now they want to bring themselves back here after the damage is done. They don't even admit I messed up because I did this and I shouldn't have done this. No, they want to. Well, I know I said some hurtful things to you. Let's move on past this. No. No. And this is why it is that I say that a lot of you Virgos need to pay attention to how many people or more specifically the quality of people that you are cutting off. You don't want to throw everybody out. You know what I mean? And then be like, oh, okay, I'm just going to get rid of everybody. I'm just going to not talk to anybody. No, then that's just as terrible as having all of these envious people in your life. It's the same thing. It just looks different. But then you have the hangman, which represents a lot of you Virgos also are going through some, some serious learning experiences. A lot of you Virgos are going through a lot of serious turning points in your lives. And obviously, these types of toxic, envious people, they're not going to be able to go with you because they wasn't able to respect the fact that you wanted more for yourself and that you're willing to put in the work to get what it is that you say that you want. You expect these people to, to really deal with the fact that you done gone through the clip off, you done empowered yourself. Through the clip off, and I'm and I'm going to explain it um, in another video, the the benefits as well as the struggles that I've been through, but explain to you the benefits of doing it and why it is that I've said before, and I'm going to say it again, and the video is coming up about that. I am not a light magician. I am a dark magician. I want to make that very clear. So all of this love and light type of stuff. Do I have love? Absolutely. Do I have a sense of light in me? Yes, but it's dark light because there is a such thing as dark light. Just like how scientists have found out that there's a such thing as dark stars, that's the type of light that I emit. It's not a, a bright light in that sense. It is bright in the aspect that it is dark as the brightness. So the benefit of going through that type of decision-making process to decide whether or not you are a light or a dark magician, it brings benefits. And that's what the hangman represents. It represents the clip-off. It represents having to learn things about yourselves or having to embrace aspects about yourselves, either learn or embrace aspects about yourselves. What is the difference? The learning aspect means you didn't know. The embrace aspect means you did know, 
but you just try to deny it. So, so when you invoke these types of energies, you either learn or embrace, right? And which ultimately creates a combination of the two. But the point is, is that you Virgos are getting a lot of benefits. So the thing is that the Page of Swords and the Eight of Cups represents while a lot of people are upset. The Eight of Cups, a lot of people are not happy with a lot of you Virgos because a lot of you Virgos decided to cut them off. I say, who cares about them? I, I really, I really mean it. I say, who cares? Who, who, who gives stuff about them? To be quite honest with you, because all of these dysfunctional people and Virgos will do the best that they, the, the Virgos who, you know, their heart is in the correct place. The ones who are developed and they are not caught up with being super intelligent, right? More than other people. Virgos is the, the Virgo is the zodiac sign of service. So we will ultimately help you, but you have to understand that when, when they say servitude, there's two forms of servitude. And this is what, this is why it is I keep saying that a lot of people, it, and it shows they're very delusional, very delusional factually, because, and, and this is what the Empress represents. The Empress represents who the Empress represents who a lot of you, the, um, the, the importance that a lot of you Virgos actually have, the impact that a lot of you Virgos made on these people's lives, but also the impact that you're making for your own life. And it's making a lot of other people around you who is close to you, who you know you can't trust, who you know you can, excuse me, trust quite happy. And the reason why I'm saying that is because going back on that, that aspect of servitude, and I've talked about this before. There are two types of servitude. There's the type of servitude where you are a serf. You get told what to do. You don't really have too many rights. You're basically, you're basically caught up in a lordship, right? And you're not the lord in this given situation. You, you get the battery put in your back. You get told what to do. And then there's the servitude of you are the royalty and that you're actually servicing the people that is in your that make up your constituents that you are royalty that represents them so a lot of times people think or, and try to make it seem like virgo is 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 servitude in the sense of subjugation <laughs> when in actuality that's not really the case Virgo is the is the case of being the king or queen that essentially services the people that is closest to them. But like I said, that's the type of servitude that we provide. That's why Virgos serve because we because what happens does the the you know without turning this into a crazy you know without turning this into something else do, do we serve the government or does the government serve us? The government is supposed to serve us. Case in point right there. So the thing is that the four of wands and the six of pentacles represents this being a situation for you where a lot of you Virgos also need to take into consideration that now that you have some free time, a lot of you Virgos may decide or may want to consider um, expanding. If you Virgos have any kind of business or maybe if you're working for somebody else, you may want to implement some sort of um, investments as as when it comes to love the six of pentacles the four of wands i'm not I, i'm seeing how a lot of you virgos are taking a, a chill pill so to speak a breeze a relaxing time a relaxing stage some time to smell the roses before you decide to jump back into the dating pool it's not saying that you're never going to get back in it but as of right now you are self-absorbed. You Virgos are self-absorbed in self-preservation as well as self-actualization. Okay? 
You Virgos are looking for a particular goal with yourselves, your health, your finances, family, this, that, the third, emotions. And a lot of you Virgos, that's your plan. That's your goal. The moon and the four of swords represent how, and a lot of you Virgos are doing the internal work. You don't want any, you don't want any dysfunctional person trying to get all up in your business, minding your business, you Virgos have essentially excommunicated them. You don't talk to them. You don't rock with them. You don't have a certain level of respect for them. You respect them as far as their livelihood, but past that, you don't really care. I know I don't. <laughs> Who did it to you? You did it to you. Now you want me to forgive you. You should have known better. So the thing is that the, the moon now represents this being a situation where, so like I said, you just don't have the time for that anymore. Because think about how much time Virgo spends or used to spend it on, used to spend or, or, or you know, spend their time on wasting it, trying to raise people up spiritually, mentally, and trying to have them ignite their own souls and it end up being a waste of time. These people want to be just as asleep and just as unaware and just as out of touch with reality as much as possible, delusional. And the four of swords is, is that, and this is something that a lot of people are going to have problems with. They're going to have, a lot of people are going to have problems, particularly fake people. A lot of people who just coming in see you as an opportunity, all of that stuff, they're going to have a very difficult time trying to get a grasp on you because you're only popping out whenever it is that you want to. You're only being seen whenever it is that you, you want to. Other than that, they're not going to know your whereabouts. Let's clarify the moon. Let's clarify the moon. Okay, so to clarify the moon, we have the Empress, which you already got in the reading, the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. So the Empress, the Eight of Swords, again, try not to create any kind of relationships with anybody. Try not to take anybody back. Try not to create new relationships with dysfunctional people. Leave all dysfunctional people in that basket over there. You know what I'm talking about. The proverbial hearsay basket. Where if they want to act like that, you don't have time for that. Because they're too dysfunctional and it's too much time. I said this before. There's a ticking time clock on all of us. How many generations of people came into existence and then created another generation and then made the transition, so to speak? And how many times and how many people out of each generation waste time? These delusional individuals who, who are unsuccessful, just pay attention to how it is that they spend their time doing the, doing the most off touch with basis stuff, trying to be seen as cool, trying to give the fluff like they're so cool. I'll tell you what it is that they are. They are a bunch of delusional individuals. And you Virgos, if, if you Virgos only had a time machine, you wouldn't even be spending or you wouldn't want to spend that much time on these individuals because they're too far gone. Instead of them do about face and understand that they're getting themselves caught up in the insanity and the confusion, I should say. What do they do? They travel, they, they venture even further into it. And you Virgos, all you Virgos is trying to do was raise them up. But the Six of Wands, you don't have time for that anymore. You got to accomplish something. Before your time is done, you Virgos want to make sure that you actually self actualize and you accomplish something. The Six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles represents, and a lot of you are not going to waste your time doing that. 
of trying to raise them up good, right? Because you'll be doing the internal work. And the seven of pentacles is while these people will be too busy thinking about you and worrying about what you're doing. The moon also represents a card of hidden things. It represents hiding. Not only does it represent emotional work and internal work, but it also represents hiding. So when people drop off, quote unquote, seemingly drop off the face of the earth, and I hope YouTube doesn't hit me for, for the stuff that I was saying in the video, because I'm not really, you know, do, you know, but for you Virgos, right? Whenever it is that people drop off or it seems like they dropped off the face of the earth, it's, it's represented by the moon. They're just in a space. They're, they're in a clip off. They're in a space where they're not seen. So it's like the only time you're going to get a chance to see these people is when you actually see them. You got to spot them because they're not going to be as available as they once was. That's you, Virgos. And it's making, see, the people who are closest to you, they know what it is. They, they see they are, they're there. You may even spend your time with them or a certain amount of time with them. But the ones who was delusional, yeah, those people there, they don't know where you are. And that's good. <laughs> that's good. Let's clarify the Empress. Matter of fact, let's clarify the Four of Swords. So they don't like the fact that you're going off and off the radar. The Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, sorry, the Five of Wands, and the Hierophant. The Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, again, concentrating on self-actualization, but getting, but not cutting them out of your life. You're focused on what you're focused on selfishly and you need to be that you know you need to be selfish otherwise you'll never accomplish anything. So there has to be a certain amount of selfishness because the type of selflessness that these people quote unquote air quotes want you to be is where you waste all your time spending it on them even though they can't bring anything of you of substance and it's not reciprocal. And then you have the Five of Wands, and then you have the Hierophant. The Five of Wands and the Hierophant is about how, um, and a lot of people going to get salty um, about this. So expect to, there's a, there's a chance that you could hear from people. If not, they're, they're, if, if you don't hear from someone within the next week or so, then it probably more than likely it means that they're off somewhere you, not around you that you are unaware of living out a, a nightmare because you're not there anymore. And then you have the Hierophant, which represents how this is a situation for a lot of you uh, Virgos where you Virgos are concentrating on what you got to do. And you're getting a lot of credit because you're seeing the results. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Trying to get this uh, YouTube channel to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. As of right now, I have 2,500 subscribers. Please keep hitting that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Set the notification bell to all so you can get notified whenever it is that I drop these videos. Also, too, I do provide private tarot readings, relationship sessions to help people right? Whether they're in a relationship, out of a relationship, just help them um, tighten up on some things that they may have needed to do when they were in a relationship that they could do next time. I also do birth chart reading. So I offer all of these things. I will make a video in the future talking about this, right? So that people can get, you know, more in touch with me off camera, Right. Because I want y'all to, to come through and get some of my services. Right. I love doing this. I love interacting with a lot of y'all. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace.